Attention, you are now listening to the Extra Medium Show with your hosts, Alex and Corey. Yo, welcome to another episode of the Extra Medium Show. Um, today is a special episode because it is the first ever fan submitted topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you from our live studio audience. <laughs> Shout out to Adam in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Yes. Um, submitted the topic of movies that you only want to watch one time. Yeah. And it was rough. <laughs> it wasn't the uh, the most fun episode we could have did, but oh, no, I'm not saying not, that. Not did, but I'm saying the movies. The are movies heavy. weren't fun yeah. sometimes. I'll say that. You know, it's a ton of but heavy movies. You have to watch the movie. You have to watch them because they're not bad movies. It's just no. I mean, just because you should only watch it one time doesn't mean it's a bad movie. Right. Right. But it's just maybe draining or yeah, just intense. long or heavy. Yeah. What comes to mind when you think of... I mean, uh, the obvious answer is probably the heaviest or one... I don't know. I don't want to discredit anything, but probably got to be like Schindler's List and and the movies around that movie. Yeah. You know? It seems like most of the uh, the most heavy topics tend to be the, uh, around real events. Yeah. Yeah. World War II, the Holocaust. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just not good. There's, there's really not anywhere where you can do like, like what silver linings out of, out of movies like yeah. that. Like they don't have happy endings most of the time. Most of the movies I think of, yeah. But they're the most realistic. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like Schindler's List. That's he's like he's not even Jewish. He's just trying to help as many Jewish people as he can, and yeah. and that movie in itself kind of has a like a, a positive arc in it because he does end up saving a lot of people but the, it doesn't hesitate from showing right the really shitty st- like the scene when the guy who's in charge of the camp is just out his window and he takes the sniper rifle and just shoots mm-hmm. people randomly like what the hell you know yeah it's, it's tough but people were sick you know but that's, I mean, I watched that in school for the first time I watched it, I think. And I have really? seen it. A couple, I haven't just seen it once, but it's... it's. I've seen it a few... I mean, I feel like I watched it as a kid and then watched it again as an adult, yeah. but I don't know that I've watched it yeah. more than that. Yeah, it's... They showed it in school? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the only time I've seen it is when they showed it in like 10th grade or something like that mm-hmm. for history hmm. class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess, I, I guess maybe I saw it in school at some point. Yeah, it's that and Diary of Anne Frank. I wow. see. I'm not a fan. I was just having this conversation with my sister yesterday because we were talking about this. The Diary of Anne Frank, like what happened to her family and her, was terrible. But her dad found her diary. This is what I've heard. It could be all wrong too. Say so you're walking a thin line. No, 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 no. Her dad made up like the second half of the diary because she didn't take it with her to the constant. Well, I don't think the diary. Where did you? I don't know if that there's any. He made up like half the story to make it a better story. That's what I've heard. It could be completely wrong. I don't know. I don't know either, because he was he was the only one who survived. So, so I don't know. So you discredit the whole thing? What? No. And I don't know. I don't know. I I don't remember exactly what they said. So I, I'm just talking out of my ass right now. But that's what I heard. Zach, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that, that's not even the only Schindler's List or Diary of Anne Frank. That's like, you have what? Boy in Striped Pajamas? Yeah. That's, that movie's fucked up. <laughs> if you don't feel like shit after that movie's yeah. done. I have no desire to watch that. I'm glad I watched it once and I have no desire to ever watch that movie yeah. again. Yeah, and that's why it's on the list because you know what's going to happen and you're like, I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, I agree. Just how oblivious the kids are. The kid, well, the kid is. So. But then it's like, it's almost like to the parents, that's what you get for being such shitty people. But then again, I don't know. It just makes it feel shitty for everyone else, for everyone. That's a movie that just makes me sad. Yeah. Like. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you don't want to watch a movie that just makes you sad. Some no. people are into that. No. <sighs> Watching sad movies. I don't. I can't do that. Like I want to get enter- entertained. Well, that's a form of entertainment. I mean, if it makes you feel. I mean, if you're an emotion, if you're just like a robot, and then you, you need to feel something. You watch a happy movie to feel happy, but then you have to balance out the happy. So you watch a sad movie, you know. I don't know. And then you have the pianist. Have you ever seen that? With uh, oh, I don't remember the guy's name. It's uh, he's a he's a homeless guy or something. No, he's a. Uh, I think they're in Poland. He's a a, a pianist, like in a. Uh, um, Adrian Brody, I think okay. is his name, is the real his real name, and he's like a pianist, and he plays on the radio and stuff. And his family and him are Jewish, and it's about how they were put in the ghetto, and when they were shipped off to the camps, he had a friend who was working for the Jewish police, and he told him not to get on the train with them. So he, I think that's how it happened. He ends up not going to the camps, and he's living in this ghetto, like, basically as a homeless man at that point. And then it's it's just about the story from him in the beginning, and then to the end of the war, when the Russians, I guess, liberate the Not town. a happy ending either. I mean, For him, it's a happy ending. He survives? He survives. Yeah. yeah I don't think anyone else does. Yeah, but it shows, like, oh, he, yeah. everyone else went through it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. nobody won. No, no, no. But I think that's uh, that's enough on the that yeah. topic. Well, no, I mean, it's like the like along with the Holocaust, like sla- a lot of slavery yeah. movies are tough to watch. Yeah, like Roots, I've watched once, and like who who wants to watch Root? I mean, but you almost have to watch them to even. It's rough. Like, you have to, um, like, give it the respect, like, the stories, you again, know what I mean? Yeah, again, it's not a bad story. Right. It's just... Well, like, the, I, I'm sure, like, with the Holocaust, there's a ton of people that wouldn't know as much as they do about it unless they've watched those movies. The same thing with movies about slavery and stuff. And all, and it's... That gets dangerous too, though, when you're letting movies uh, teach history for you. Because that's true. How accurate is that? I mean, although it is based on true stories, and and that's the problem with schools too, is they're showing movies to teach kids. Not not that there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like that's where a lot, like you said, a lot of people get their education from. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen. uh, 12 years a slave but i know it's been on a lot of lists i've looked up for movies like this and i don't know i'm sure it's a really heavy movie in my opinion it's a good movie to watch but if you attempt to watch it a second time or or whatever you know how it's going to play out obviously because it's about slavery and then you know what he's going to go through at the beginning and you're just you don't want to watch it again yeah but I think you also have a good movie on your hands if your movie makes people uncomfortable too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I like being I, uncomfortable to a point. You ever seen Kids? No. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's I about think a- HIV. The kid. Uh, I maybe have started watching does it. Does a thing that he wants. I believe he wants to like have sex with the most virgins he can. Okay. But he doesn't tell them that he's HIV positive. And he's just out there wrecking lives. That's not it's a good. horrible movie. That's not <laughs> it's yeah, horrible. That's not... It's a it's a movie like it, and the it people came, are getting sick. It came out as like an HIV awareness. Uh, the people like, are getting sick that he's doing. Yeah, it he's with. giving them HIV. Well, I didn't know. Do you automatically get it? I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I'm not going to take that chance. <sighs> Jesus, <clears throat> I've seen I've seen posts on Facebook of people doing that in like real life. I believe like, it's a crime now. Hell yeah, yeah. it's a crime. Yeah. That's, sc- that's screwy, man. Especially if you know that you have it and you're willingly giving it to yeah. other people. Yeah. Well, is it a crime if you don't know you have it? No, but... Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Jesus. 
Well, that I, I don't s- think so. I don't. I, I don't know. To be honest, I mean, if he can get somebody in trouble for giving you HIV, I don't know. I mean, could you sue him? I, I know that there's a, a you would have government to... agency that tracks the like the linear path of a strain of HIV and stuff like that. So, how do you know that? <laughs> CDC I'm, I'm just asking. follows the strains and follows how it mutates, mm-hmm. um, and they will notify. That's why most people with HIV know that they have HIV because somebody else was notified and they had to tell them their sexual partners or sexual history. So the CDC does a lot of the warning, the and, calling, and yeah. The CDC is a made up company or a made up department. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Huh? I'm just kidding. Bird That's what some people say, I'm sure. Or they say they're working for the bad guys or something. But, you know, whatever. Um, so, would you sue someone? If they gave me HIV? Yeah. If they knowingly gave me HIV? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Thank God I'm not in that situation. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, shaman's out there. Rolling the dice every weekend. (laughs) (laughs) What a... I'm going to be honest. A lot of the movies... Because I I looked up some lists to get some ideas of what movies would kind of fit in this category. Yeah. A lot of the movies are on our countdown list. So some of them we're going to skip just for sake of talking about them when they appear on the list. Yeah. Um... So we're definitely going to miss some this episode, but I'm going to try to... I mean, we miss some every episode. We do. That's, we do. We, we do. But we're going off of our, our knowledge. Yeah. So... Yeah. But, I mean, I'm obviously, like, really into war movies. Yeah. You know, and, I mean, depending on who you are, you can say a lot of war movies are, are movies you, you should only watch once, but... It, some war, there's a difference between war movies. Some are strictly for like action, action and entertainment, and then some are are very historical and 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 maybe not so much for the entertainment, but to tell a story of what actually happened, kind of like, like what we were just talking about. But like when you get to movies like like uh, Full Metal Jacket, I mean. Th- when you think of Full Metal Jacket, you think of kind of two movies in one, because you yeah. have the opening boot camp scene, and then you have the second like act. Yeah. And, I think everybody know. thinks of boot camp scenes when they think of that movie. Yeah, yeah. But ju- the that I do the second part of that movie. It's just so like the whole the whole second half. You're just sitting there like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like. The whole battle, and and then at the end when they catch the sniper, and, and it's a kid, isn't it? It's either a kid or like a a, a young girl, like not a young girl, like a teenage girl, yeah. or not a nor what they were expecting, not a man. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's just been a long time since I've seen that movie. Well, and then the last, the final scene is them, um, walking to the next objective. And they're singing the Mickey Mouse ho- or Mickey Mouse Club song or whatever it is, and you're just like, "What the hell?" Like, you just had the most climactic scene in the movie, and then it's just going to end you with that. So, like, it's one of those movies where you're just at the end, you're watching the credits, and you're just you don't know what to really do. You have you're confused. You know what I mean? But then you have um, like. Movies like Saving Private Ryan, which I've seen f- a lot of times, yeah. at least ten times probably, but it's super sad too. It is, yeah, because everybody <laughs> dies and yeah. there's only one guy left. And yeah, then... and see that I don't get. I mean, that's a great movie, but that do you, never. That, do you think they should have done that? No, and that would have never happened. That's not a true story. That they would not have sent. It those makes it guys. a little easier to watch, though. Yeah, it, it, it explains the story. Yeah, and it gives the movie purpose. Yeah, 
Because, like, but so like many says, people died trying to save one guy. Yeah, that would have never happened. The story, when, when after the beach invasion, they're in an, off, an office, and I think they're talking about the Solomon brothers. That did happen. There were four brothers on one ship, and they all got killed on the same day. And the, the Navy was like, oof, maybe no, we should split poor, them up. That's just poor planning. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, that stuff happened, but the, the Ryan brothers never... Hmm. But that opening scene when they're landing on the beaches, like I, I saw that when veterans saw that, went to go see that movie in the theaters, they had to walk out because it was so realistic, mm -hmm. so similar to how it actually was. So I think just basing the movie on that, it's a tough, like a, a movie that fits this list. But then you add on to the movie where they're searching for private ryan and then it it makes it more of like a hollywood movie in my opinion you know what i mean yeah. but just that pure carnage and, and then the scene and at the chaos end, he, at the beginning and the end when he's at the grave yeah and stuff that's tough. yeah yeah so th those are two like like full metal jackets definitely not that scene doesn't seem very historically accurate but it's a really good story right same thing kind of with saving private ryan what about uh black hawk down Black Hawk Down is probably like, uh, um, I would say, the most realistic seeming movie. That's, it, but it's so long. I think that adds to the uh, the the aspect of you only wanting to watch it once. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, I don't. Know, it's it's got to be over two hours. I would think. Yeah, shame on how long is Black Hawk Down? I don't know, dude. When the, they pull the pilot out of the yeah. plane and the parading them around and shit yeah 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 that's well and then you have the the guys who got left behind um so they had to run back at the end like holy shit yeah but the, imagine being like imagine how scary that would be to be in a town that's literally like a whole town is basically trying to kill you it's two and a half hours long. Yeah. yeah. So it's a long I don't feel like it feels like that long of a watch. And honestly, Black Hawk Down's on a lot of lists, but I, for me, it's not a only watch one time. No. In my opinion, it's like every other war movie. Somebody gets stuck behind enemy lines and they have to go get them. Um... But it's based on a true event, yes. right? So. Yeah. So, I mean, you can give this one credit that. It's realistic, or, you know. The other movies are based off of this one, and they do a great job. Like it's a, it's there's a, so many like high ranking uh, actors in it. Like it's it's got a nice cast, but then you have Orlando Bloom who's in it for like ten minutes, yeah. and then he falls off the helicopter. I think that's Orlando Bloom that does that. Yeah, um, but that's cool though. Yeah, I well, mean, what it, about? It, it's a good movie. I just think it's just like every other movie. Yeah. Like what? Somebody gets stuck behind enemy lines. Yeah, but they do it better than everybody. Like every other movie's trying to be that. Yeah, I'll agree to that. I'll, I will agree to that. Well, but... give it its credit then. Say every other movie's like Black Hawk Down, because that's what I. That's how but I it, feel. It's so overplayed, and you get to that point where you're like, I don't want to watch another movie like this. I understand that's why it's on your my opinion. List. I understand your opinion. But we have different opinions. <laughs> but I get you. Um, and and I think that that movie you have to not be a, spe a special like a specific person to really enjoy it. But it's a you have to it's a specific movie to enjoy. Yeah. I'll say that. You know what I mean. But I don't know. I like it. Mm -hmm. I've seen it more than once too. But it's on a few lists. So. Figured it deserved an ad. Have you ever seen the movie To End All Wars? No. Nope. It's a movie based on uh, the POWs from uh, World War II uh -huh. that built the uh, train line to uh, through the jungle. Yeah. That well, that's like um, it'd be cool to bring this up during the World War II part, but <laughs> it's all good. It's I mean, all good. It's, it's on my list only because how heavy it is those were the soldiers that uh um i'm pretty sure were captured in the philippines when the japanese yes. took over the philippines there's a movie bridge on the river kwai which is from the 50s 
and it's about those guys too. I've never seen the one you're the talking about. The only reason about. I know about that movie is because that's uh, Ron Swanson's favorite movie on uh, <laughs> that movie Parks is and Rec. that's a <laughs> that could be on this list too, but it's I think that's mostly just because the fact it was filmed in the 50s. Yeah. But is it it's, is it like it, a newer movie? Yeah, it's, I think it's from, well it's not like new new, it's mm-hmm. from like 2001. Okay. Yeah, that's a newer movie. In my opinion, I mean, and it stars uh, Keith Sutherland. In Ke- okay, who? Sutherland. Kiefer. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but they get captured in the Philippines and gets taken to this camp out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And they just abuse the fuck out of them. Like they beat them for not bowing. Yeah. The, you know. Yeah. People are just. That's another interesting. To th- like a lot of the World War Two movies. Like ninety eight percent of them are based on the like the German front. That's true. Like there's well, not a lot of because pa- the, about like the movies ju- about the Pacific. It was because it was so brutal. One, it's probably much harder to film um, scenes like as a movie standpoint. But like the Japanese, they they were like that because they didn't believe in surrender. So they they saw everybody who got captured was a coward. Yeah. And they actually touched based on that because of their religion, like Bushido or well, something like that. Why do they not make that movie? Huh? Why don't they make that movie? I mean, there's one, obviously. Cause... They have a few. They have, like, like you have, like, Letters from Iwo Jima and Flags of Her Fathers. Those are both Clint Eastwood movies. Um, yeah, one... but those aren't. Are those, like, blockbuster movies? Like They, they are. They are? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've know, never seen them. I mean, so. You've heard of them, and so yeah. it's obviously the one. A large the one movie. is from the Marines' point of view. Flags of Our Fathers is the Marines' point of view when they invaded Iwo Jima, and then Letters from Iwo Jima is the Japanese point of view, which I think that that's the Japan. It's in Japanese, but I think that's the better of the two movies, because um, hmm. the Flags of Our Fathers movie is about the guys who raised the flag, and most of them died when they were still fighting on the island. Um, Damn. But uh, then they have, like, the Thin Red Line, which I don't know what island they're on, but that's a Pacific movie. Um, wind, wind Talkers? I've seen talkers, that. Talkers? Walkers? Seen wind talkers. 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 Yeah. I mean, that's not really... That's one of those, like, action yeah. movies, but, you know. But, yeah, it's de- there's definitely... I think because the Eastern War, this might sound stupid, but was more is more romantic to film, even though it could be a fully, like there's no love stories or anything in the movie, just the scenery and everything oh, yeah. is more romanticized than a volcanic rock in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, you know? Or, you know, or trucking through the jungle. And right. The no, I'm not, like I'm not saying. But then you have. There well, shouldn't be movie. Like, no. obviously the Holocaust was one of the biggest yeah. events in mankind in the history of mankind so like obviously there's going to be a ton of movies about it i'm not saying that but i'm saying you would think it would go the other way around too well you have i saw this on not, a couple not even lists the way around. for movies you want to watch once is a uh, heartbreak ridge not heartbreak ridge hacksaw ridge, hacksaw. Hacksaw ridge. yeah <laughs> <Heartbreak> <laughs> that's ridge. clint eastwood what else you want <laughs> um but that i'm pretty sure that was on uh um yeah it was on a list i saw yeah, a couple lists same here. the um, what island was it on it was on Okinawa, yeah. I think, which that was the first island that was technically Japanese soil. So when the Marines landed there, it was brutal. But there were also a whole bunch of civilians there, too. So so I'm just dumb. There's a ton of movies about the, the Japanese. They're, yeah. they're not There's definitely more like, European movies. but Yeah, I would say they're not portrayed like the... Uh, I want like a Germans. historically accurate... I mean, that's Axel Rich, though. Watch the Pacific, what I talked about the, the uh, one episode. Yeah. But that's like a. I mean, 10 we could go on for season. war movies forever. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. seen Passion of the Christ? No. No, you've never seen it? No. You should watch it. I mean, I it's the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, but I've never seen it. I watched it in the movie theaters, man. I heard uh, it's packed. intense. The movie theaters packed. Did you dress in character? As a Roman? Yeah. No. No, I, no. Have you ever dressed in character when you went to a movie release? No. Have you? I would like to. No, but I got mistaken for one. <laughs> what? Who, what character? They thought you was Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forget which movie it was, but for some reason I was just wearing like a, you know, a large red shirt, and they thought I was the main character, and I was like, "What uh, movie?" 
Oh, he knows what movie yeah. it is. He's just not telling us. No, Large no. red shirt. Because they I never made it. a Kool Aid movie. <laughs> <laughs> you're just setting yourself up you gotta tell me one movie i can't look, remember. keep cracking jokes oh i dressed up for a movie once it was for a uh, um when pearl harbor came out and i i went to a, a surplus store and i bought a sailor's uniform and i wore it how old were you probably like six or seven. Oh, that's okay and then right before we went to the movies um, there was a police chase on my street. Oh, Herbert came out when you were six or seven? Uh-huh. God. And there was a police... In the 90s. You're like yeah, 12. So. Go ahead. There was a police chase, and the dude was pulled off to a house like three houses down from me and started shooting at the police. It was wild. So then after we saw the movie, we had to go to the police station to give a report. And you went and dressed as an airplane uh-huh. pilot and gave a report <laughs> in yep. East Akron? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Where people <laughs> at least you were a little kid. Yeah, I had the hat, I had See, everything. That's dude. probably why I, I haven't gone to anything in character, because like what if something happens? <laughs> no one's gonna take you seriously. Yeah. <laughs> you're just dressed like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> what if the apocalypse starts and you're dressed like Darth Vader? <laughs> How shitty would that be? I mean it'd be kinda cool, but it could be worse. Salmon being his uh Whatever costume. Shaman, I need to know what the yeah, hell dude. you were dressed up. Or you, you know what it is. That's no, why. <laughs> yes, you do. That's the thing. Yes, you I do. Know, if somebody remember. thought I was in cosplay ever in my life and I wasn't, I would remember the fucking movie that they thought I was in. No, it wasn't like a random person that came up to me. I was like get, giving the person my ticket to go in. Mm-hmm. And they asked me, I was like, are you so-and-so? And I'm like, no. And she was like, oh, you, you look like the guy from the movie. And I was like, that's not... Here. You don't Hagrid from Harry Potter. No, but that's a different story. Somebody told me I should dress up as Hagrid for uh, Halloween. For I can see it. Damn. Corey don't know who that is. I don't. Want... I've read Harry Potter. Have you? You yeah. can read. I can read. Wow. I used to. Re- I used to read good. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I'm just kidding. All read. right, let's get away from war movies because those are whole. Well, other no, episodes. that's what I'm saying. Passion of the yeah. Christ. Yeah is the cinematic for i mean the bible and it's it i mean i mean is it like the stages of the cross do you know what that yeah. is like I, uh, they drag him through I town to with the Catholic crosses school for like two years dude <laughs> they beat on jesus and it's a whole thing it's all subtitles though because it's all like in in hebrew really i believe is mel gibson he just directed it or yeah, is he I don't jesus think he, i don't know <laughs> no he's not <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know who plays Jesus. I don't know if anybody, any of the actors are famous now, like when they were in the movie. But it was a tough watch. I believe it. People were weeping, like in the theater. Oh yeah, Ooh. it was like when it came out. You know what I mean? So it was Ooh. full. People were crying. I was. I was pretty young. What year did it come out? I don't. I was pretty young. I went like with my mom, and people were like. I want to know. Do you do you have any idea what you did after you watched that movie? It came out in two thousand four. I was oh, ten. Oh, okay. I was like sixteen. I was yeah. thirty four. I feel like I was fifteen when it came out though, because like, <laughs> I, I feel like I couldn't drive when that movie came out. But oh, okay, like it was probably it was probably early of early, right? Two thousand four. Right. Yeah. I uh, didn't. Uh, someone made. <laughs> Did Mel Gibson get in, tr- like, he got kind of crazy oh, yeah, making yeah. it or something like Anti-Semitic. that, Anti-Semitic. Right? Oh, well, he oh, I know he did something. Yeah, well, he, he got, got caught. He got he caught, saying, like, a voicemail saying a bunch of anti-Semitic stuff. And That's not he good. he was at a comedy club and That's mean, drunk. That means you don't like Jewish people, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was at, like, a comedy club or something and he was drunk and he was just... I think that's so, Kramer. No. What? <laughs> Kramer did that. <laughs> no, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure it was Mel Gibson got caught on camera. At some cl- club, or so, I don't know if it was comic club or what, but he got caught on camera just saying some harsh stuff. Yeah. Uh, Have, I just uh, just watched for the first time with Dana the other day. Uh, Have you ever seen uh, Requiem for a Dream? I saw it once. Yes, I've seen it. Holy shit. That's on our list, so I don't want to go super into detail about it, but... Uh, it's on everybody's list, I think. Man. It's Man. an intense movie. 
Yeah, and it's and it's. I mean, for those who don't know, it's basically about four different people who are addicted to something. Yeah, three of them. It's well, they're all addicted to drugs, but just everybody's addi- addicted to something. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like the the mom <laughs> of the one character is uh uh she wants to lose weight because she got a letter in the mail that she's gonna be on tv yeah and then she goes to this doctor who gives her these these diet pills turns out it's like they say like speed so what's that is that math no okay i mean it it's different is it go um, i'm not a i'm not a drug expert so i don't know but go ahead i don't know but she gets like she has to take like four pills and then she takes a sleeping pill at night so she can sleep and then she's losing the weight but you know and then the other people are um addicted to heroin and a lot of stuff and i don't want to get into super details but yeah. that was a i don't think i'm ever going to watch that one again i can tell that great say that music, i would say great music great music oh yeah song that comes from soundtrack there. yeah that guy it was like a quartet yeah right yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that is like speak this doesn't have anything to do with dreams. I mean, not like but I have been having like super lucid dreams. Okay. Like almost to the point that it's a second life. And like I have reoccurring dreams where stuff that happened in my previous dreams Okay. Are known in the world that I'm dr- I'm currently dreaming in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah I've, yeah, I've had that before. And in the reoccurring dreams, I'm wanted in connection to a murder. Oh shit! It's the most stressful fucking shit ever. <laughs> like I have these dreams, and like I know that I'm wanted because in a previous dream, I was there when somebody killed somebody. Jesus it makes me sound like a psychopath, but. I'm a like super lucid dreamer and I, I wake up and I remember like most of my dreams most of the time. Yeah. I'm the exact opposite. I and it's like, dreams. it's intense. My dreams all connect and like, I I, just I have dreams that like the cops are looking for because they want to question me about something I dreamt about like a year ago. Like it's insane. I just had a dream a few days ago. Maybe I ago. found another dimension. Um, All my teeth fell out. Oh, I've had that. It's a bad one. I, I, someone told me it was because of stress. I usually don't stress. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it wasn't very fun. I woke The up. audience doesn't know you, but that's a huge joke. He's the most <laughs> stressful person I've ever met in my life. But, but to my credit, the only fact I need to bring up is January of 2020, who was stressing about yeah, a you, certain Alex was disease. scared of the coronavirus before... I yeah. was I, I was calling was bullshit. He knew like I knew way in advance. I knew. I had sources in China telling me. I don't. Know. I did too. I know that what, is true. Yeah, I don't know what you had, but it, yeah, you were like, no man, it's gonna come. It's gonna fuck everything up. And I was like, man, it's uh, it's over there. You're yeah. Stressed. yeah, you stress yeah. too much. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah. yeah. No, Daddy always knows. Please don't. <laughs> Anyways, well, I would say one movie that. Is a like, I think of like a blockbuster esque movie that some people might think they only want to watch once. Is the Green Mile? Yeah, you know I don't want to watch it again, but that shit's <laughs> sad, man. See, I, I've watched it multiple times, and that's a you know a good movie for me. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I I feel like it's just your take on it. I would assume. Is are you sad because of what happens to the big guy? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, but what? I don't know. I don't have. What's an, the t- What's the good takeaway from that movie? He saves the guy with cancer. Yeah, he did. He have cancer. He, he shows them them the humanity of the so, some prisoners. You know, they're not all just bad. They're yeah, all but on what's death row that's for, not worth that man's life. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Like that. So that, it's a that, shitty movie. That's a shitty ending to. It's not a shitty movie, but it's a shitty ending to the movie. Like. What good, what, like, what's your, you said it depends on your take. What's your take? Yeah, and I'm just saying, like, it, it's bad that that innocent man had to die. Sad. That's, you know, that's what the movie revolves around. But my take is the guards themselves, all of them, think that the people that come to the Green Mile 
are all just, you know, bad people, right? Uh, coffee shows him that he's innocent. But what's that? So, so then what? He dies. He changes the minds of all the guards on that, on that row. Even the warden. He changed his mind. But what's that going to do? Change the way they, you know, the future of the next inmate. You know, they might treat them better. They might, you know, change the way they do it. That's not, it that's does. not happier. That, that doesn't outweigh the sadness of yes, that. Yes, and I'm not saying it dude does, dying in but the movie. I do watch that, you know, thinking, hey. That movie pisses me It off. progresses. What happened to the guard that was an asshole? He went, I can't he remember. He went insane. Did he? He gave him whatever he sucked out uh, of that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was like, oh, well, yeah, it was like brain cancer. Yeah. Who had Braden cancer? The old man. The, no, the warden's wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The warden's yeah. wife. And then Tom Hanks had, like, what, kidney stones or yeah. something like that? He has, he had, uh, yeah. urinary tract infection. But it was mm-hmm. back in the day, so I was like. No, they, right. they couldn't really give him anything to yeah. leave it, so he couldn't take That's not nearly his. as big as a deal. But then, he yeah, he takes the brain cancer and then gives it to that guard. And then he's like, I'm tired, boss. Gives yeah, like gives him brain yeah. instant brain cancer. Like that'd be a son of a bitch. Wild, but the guy kind of deserved yeah, he, it. Yeah, he deserved it because he forgot to wet the sponge on the one guy's. Did head. he forget? No, he he knew. Okay. And yeah. the guy fried, literally yeah. fried. Yeah, everybody's running out. Would you get electrocuted in a chair? Nah, you don't have I, a choice. I'd rather go well, to fire squad. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I would. Bam. You but would you die? What if they miss? Hell yeah. They, no, they, they have, don't. They the, have, like, have you ever seen video of that? They have like 10 there's video. guys and they unload on you. Yeah, no, dude, there's no. video. Yeah, but there's sometimes where they don't, they have like 10 guys, but they only give one guy a real bullet. So you don't, no one knows who's the one who killed him. Nah, dude, the videos I've seen of firing squads. Well, yeah, that's like the hardcore firing squads. N- I, nowadays. I, what's a softcore all... firing squad? The, what I just said. It's softcore for the person doing You're shooting. You're insane. So, so they don't. So you only get killed by one bullet instead of ten. That's make that a headshot. That's almost more hardcore. You think so? It's less hardcore for the firers. Dude, I would much rather get hit with twenty bullets and die. No, I understand that, but but the psychology of the guys doing the execution, it's easier on them if only if they don't know who's the one who shot them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm thinking about the people doing the act, not getting the act. Why? <laughs> it's still if you. I mean, nowadays like, you don't really have that choice because everything's either done by like lethal injection or. Is that the only way they do it now? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think do they even do it anymore? In yeah. some states, they some still, states, yeah. I know, like Texas. Yeah, Texas is like <sighs> the main one. I think like. There's definitely states that still have the death penalty. You know, the last time the guillotine was Ohio used in like was in like 1979. Right? Yeah. I actually did you know that that'd be something in the 70s would you go to a public execution if the guy really deserved it yeah what but if why it was what, what? yeah i'm not you know sexist so you <laughs> kill them all so you're gonna uh oh, man you're gonna watch somebody die no i've watched what for? people die before jesus christ explain please well, no, not, not like you know get murdered or anything but like you know just have you ever seen i've like, never seen someone ho- so casually fucking say yeah i've seen people <laughs> die before no like people in hospice and shit you know you, yeah you, you see them withering away that will fuck i'm talking life. about die like you see the life like yeah. they die right then yeah how many people have you seen die in front of you bro this is getting heavy you can't just say some stuff like that and not explain it did you work somewhere? He worked at a hospital. I saw brain surgery at the hospital. Oh, you worked at a hospital. Yeah. That's a little different. Yeah, well, it's the fucking children's well, hospital. Yeah, Damn. it makes it even worse. I saw brain surgery. Most intense thing I've ever watched. But, yeah, I've seen, I think, two people. Die in front of you. Yeah. Damn, that's intense. You're a stone cold No, I mean, it, do, it do, does fuck you up. And especially if, like... If it's a kid. But if it fucks you it. up, then why would you go to a public execution? Because <laughs> the people I've seen die didn't really deserve it. You know, they were honest, you know, normal people. Public execution, that guy fucking deserves it. I mean, not necessarily, but... 
I mean, if he if he's wanted for like thirty murders and you know they well, caught a... him, you know, killing somebody, yeah. I mean, I think back yeah. when they did public executions, they didn't have a uh, evidence like that, and they would kill you for a lot less. Yeah. Just make sure you're not that guy. Like steal something. No witnesses. Adulterers get stoned and stuff like. Oh, you're talking like way back, I mean, way back. Boys don't cry. That's a good movie. You ever seen that? Nope. No. All right. Boys don't cry. Mm-hmm. Explain. No, I've never seen it. Um, <laughs> it's basically. I think Hillary Swank's the main character, but uh, it's a uh, a guy. I haven't seen it in a very, a very long time, but it's a it's a girl, but she wants to be a boy. Okay, and she's probably like eighteen. Um, I guess he's probably eighteen, and he moves to Nebraska. I think it is, and he he befriends a couple guys and. And, you know, they're hanging out, doing stuff. And then there's a friend of the two guys, a girl, and Hillary Swank and the girl start hanging out. And they end up, like, liking each other. And they, you know, start a thing. And I remember there's a scene where they're in a car and they're about to get funky. And obviously there's, yeah, you know. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, and she was, the, the chick was obviously taken aback. But she was, she. They started just vibing. Wow, you know. But when did the movie come out? Was uh, it old? had it was, to be. It was ahead of its time. Yeah, like eight, late eighties, early nineties, oh, wow. maybe. Ahead of its time, yeah. But uh, the two guys who are his friends, um, find out that it came out. It came out in nineteen ninety nine. Oh shit! Well, whatever. But uh, um, they find out they don't vibe with it as much. So basically, what happens is. They get her, they rape her, and um, then kill her. Damn. Yeah. Wow, that took a turn. Yeah. So at the end of the movie, you're just like, holy And then it's over. Yeah. yeah. Gee. Is that a true story? I don't know. I mean, probably. I mean, if it, that's not a true story, I'm sure stories Jesus, like that have yeah, happened. I don't plan on watching that. Yeah. That's, yeah, it was rough. But it, it touches with a lot of topics that are like... For whatever reason, people question today. It's actually based on a true story. Yeah. Huh? There Jesus. you go. There you go. I don't know. But, uh. Like, movies like that you want to watch. So you, like, get. Like, that person deserves to have their story told. Yeah. But at the same yeah. time, like. Damn. Like, it's like, so heavy that. Yeah. Like, the character was literally just trying to have a, a nice life. And then someone just decided to fuck it up. You know? Like, you, ever, you ever seen Amer- American History X? I've seen scenes from it, and I know it's what it's about. Movie. Dude, yeah, yeah, like he his brother, he goes to prison. Yeah, because he killed involved like killing two black kids. Yeah, and he gets out, and he's a changed man. But his brother, he's trying to keep his brother from doing the same. And they're like neo Nazis or something yeah. like that, right? Well, he was, yeah. Or he was, he was. He went to prison, mm-hmm. like changed his life, got out, and then his little brother is a neo-nazi and he's trying to do they have the tattoos and everything they have the tattoos yeah. right yeah, yeah. i've Edward seen the, norton oh he's a, he's a fantastic actor yeah i've seen the scene when it's intense the curb stomp the curb stomp i've seen that scene like and and i didn't think that they would i thought he would maybe like pull off or something nope nope have you seen that shaman i've seen the damn curb i can't stomp. yeah uh Part, but I haven't if you're gonna watch that part, you might as well watch the whole movie. Like that's true. Well, that's always like a cut, you know. Something you see that. On like a, a, yeah. I don't see that anywhere. I've really? seen it in like just see it in pop post. culture. Uh huh. Yeah. You saw the curb stomp scene. Yeah. yeah. TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. I saw it on like a Watch Mojo Damn. list or something. That too. Yeah, it's gnarly, but but it's it makes you think that like. You shouldn't be a neo-Nazi. Well, shit. Yeah. You know? Damn, yeah, but it's, I'm not watching it. I don't plan on watching it no. again. No. People love that movie, though. I guarantee there's people over there who watch that movie over and over. Maybe for I the mean, wrong reasons. Psychopath. There's fans of almost every movie that we talked about today, so there's going to be some. Yeah. I, well, that's like, 
Well, what you're saying, like, the story needs to be told. It's like Hotel Rwanda. Yeah. I, I haven't seen that in a super long time. I think last time I saw that was in school, but, like, the Civil War. And I just realized, I looked at a, a map. I don't know why I was looking at it, but I, I saw Rwanda on the map. It's tiny. Yeah, it's, and, it, it, it's like in between two very large. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, they were just killing each other. The, the, the... Uh, what Hutus and the Tutsis or something, yeah, something like, like that. that. And I'm not, I'm not gonna get it wrong. I'll leave it to you. <sighs> I I don't know if I got it wrong, but it's close to that. Yeah, it's pretty close. It, but it's, it's it. just like those people just living their lives, not doing anything wrong. Then all of a sudden, and, and civil war, bam. civil war, boom. You know, and like I can't even imagine how scared they were because they, you know, they went to the hotel for like safety and then. The UN and it, it, that's kind of left. the way how it was in Black Hawk Down. Like, and the UN can't do certain things, and these people are like, like praying that the UN helps them. But most of the time, they're not allowed to help them. But it's just like I can't imagine that. Like, you hear a car coming towards the hotel, you don't know if it's someone coming to help you or coming to kill you. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's not not fun. Yeah, that whole movie Don is Cheadle. just yeah. so heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Like that scene where he's driving to get supplies and the road gets bumpy and it's dead bodies. Yeah. That yeah. that got me. It's just you're driving over dead yeah. bodies. Because the, the one group, they just used machetes. They would just run around and, and slice people up, cut arms off and shit. Like, Have you ever seen, oh, um, I didn't even think about it until right now, Apocalypto? Yes. Uh, I mean, that's I've watched it more than once, but I feel like for a lot of people, yeah, they wouldn't rewatch that. Yeah, that's a that's another intense cutting. You said cutting off body parts mm-hmm. and stuff. That's what made me think of it. They're, Just brutal. They're on top of that thing, giving making the sacrifices, chopping the heads off, throwing yep. them down. Yep. And then, what about like what? Isn't there that end like chase scene? Um, yeah. Well, running and yeah. Well, he just, hides his wife and baby in the hole at the beginning, and then. Yeah, they tell him he's free to go, to run. And then while he's running away, they're shooting arrows at him. And, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Just, just like, one guy after the next. Like, go ahead and run. You think you'd make it? He makes it. <laughs> Zigzag. I, I don't think I would. I would. No. I'd, I'd no. go five feet. Because I think even me. if they make it, like, I think one guy, like, made it to the end, and then they still just, yeah, they like. They stabbed him at yeah, the end. Yeah. Some guy's hiding down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to let you. But he escapes. Yeah, because doesn't he, like, fight him or something and gets his weapon and then he takes off? Yeah. It's and like that's, one of those club things, And that's right? another shitty ending. Like, he, they fight, they're fighting the tribe. You know what I mean? The two tribes are fighting, and then you finally feel like they're free, and then he looks up, and then it's the ships. The from, conquistadors? Yeah. Yeah. And then that's the end of the movie. It's like, whoa. We all know what happened there. Yeah. One of, not favorite stories, but, like, one of the, like, a cool historical story. And it's not even cool, but it's just interesting when the conquistadors came and i forget which specific one and i don't know if it was dealing with the aztecs or who exactly it was dealing with but um they came and and the spanish knew about like eclipses and and they knew obviously more about the solar system um they knew there was going to be an eclipse in like 12 days so when they go up to the the tribe they're like we want all your gold or else we're going to make the sun disappear and then they were like, you know, fuck you. Yeah. Like, you're not getting shit. And he was like, all right, bet. And then, like, three days later, the eclipse happens. The sun fucking disappears. And they... Lose their shit. They did whatever the conquistadors told them to do <laughs> from that point on. Because, I mean, they didn't know yeah. what was going on. They Damn. thought they actually did it. And it's not, like, funny or cool, but it's just, like, wild. They, they played them. A wild story. Yeah. But, uh... I just watched um, Parasite. Have you ever seen that? No. That it's. A, it, I think it came out what maybe last year, year before. Um, it's a Korean movie, and basically that's on the list too. But it's such a good movie. It it's this family that they're very poor, and they're pretty good at like conning people, and. 
the the one son gets an opportunity to go be an English teacher at this r- very rich family's house, and then he finds out the he's tutoring the daughter. The son needs an art tutor. His sister, um, the poor guy's sister, that can do she's an artist. So he has them. The parents think that she's just a person that he met in college that's an art student. So she becomes a tutor there. The dad becomes the driver. The mom <laughs> becomes the housekeeper. Jesus. And it and it's basically a story of how a, a parasite, like it attaches to its host, and then it takes over its host a lot of times and kills its host, and and that that has a very big parallel to what happens in the story. And the end is gnarly, but I don't want to spoil yeah, it. Of course, but it won like four great um, Oscars, I think. It was like best picture. Um, very, very, very good movie. But it's one of those movies with an ending where, like, once you know that it's coming, kind of, it doesn't ruin the movie, but it takes away a lot from the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hmm. I'll definitely, I mean, I'm definitely going to watch it because it's on the list. Yeah. I mean, and there's, and there's a ton more that oh, are yeah. on the list. Like, I, we didn't talk about Eternal Sunshine of the Spot yeah. with my, because it's, it's on another... It's on a list, and we're gonna talk. We're gonna break that movie down and talk about it. So, like, obviously, that's a movie. That's, yeah. That's on there. That... Yeah. I tried to stay clear of the IMDb list. I mean, we talked about probably half the movies we talked about are on the yeah, list. Yeah, it's hard to do. I mean, but those are probably the the bigger ish movies, I guess. If I had to, you know, s- sum it up. Yeah, basically, the, I'm not discrediting any of these movies. So, if someone is asking you, what's the number one movie that you would on, that you would recommend? That's a good movie, but you only watch it once. What do you go to? Ooh. I would say Hotel Rwanda. It's a really good ass movie, but like it's so heavy. You know, you don't you only want to watch it once because it's just yeah. so impactful. In my opinion, Damn. that's why I'm. I'm gonna go Requiem for a Dream. Okay, I'm going Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, have I mean, no I can, desire I can, to watch I can that see, shit. I can again. see all the side, like yours or Schindler's List is up there too. But yeah, but, but I would watch Hulk. Schindler's List again because it's such a, and this is a relative word, but beautifully, beautifully filmed movie. Right. You know what I mean? It's not a. The things happening aren't beautiful. It's, yeah, it's but horrible. The, but the, it's the like aesthetics. cinematography and it's aesthetically pleasing. Yes. <laughs> well, it's not like how you it's black and that. white. I should but... not have said that. I did not say that. <laughs> but how it's black and white? But there's spots as a color, like the the little girl wearing the yeah. red dress, and yeah, then you that see that red it, dress. That makes it harder too. Yeah. Like that, that makes that's another reason yeah. that I don't want to watch it. Yeah. Like... And then, but like Hotel Rwanda is just because it's just pure brutality. I mean, it's the same thing, but that movie's really good at showing the fear of you not not knowing what's happening in 10 minutes. You know, you don't know what's going to happen to you. And then Requiem for a Dream is like, in my opinion, you see, because like what you said, everyone's addicted to something. And, And a lot of times that consumes your life, whatever you're addicted to, you know? And it shows the downfall of people. But, I mean, these movies are, they're all very, I think all the movies we've talked about are very, very good movies. Yeah. And so this this list isn't to, like, discredit. So please, them. if you're out there and you have a movie that you think we left off the list that should be on, reach out to us. Tell us we messed up. Tell, them, tell us we, uh, yeah. Yeah. we should have had this on there. We'll bring it back up and we'll uh, give it its... It's uh, it's due if, yeah. if we feel it's appropriate. Yeah, yeah. We sometimes we get talking and you know we, yeah, you get carried we, away. I mean, yeah, we're just sitting. There's two guys sitting here. Well, we're two guys and Shama <laughs> sitting here. <laughs> Thanks. Um, talking about our favorite movies and and what we know about. We're not movie experts by any means, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, with that being said. Looks like it's going to bring us into our next uh, segment. The countdown. 
All right, on the countdown, we are at number 94. 94. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This week, what was it? Das Boot? Das Boot. It is not about drinking beer. Nope. 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 It's a very German movie. It's a very long movie. Took me by surprise when I paused um, to go to sleep one night while I was watching it, and I saw I uh, still had half the movie to go, and I've already watched two hours. (laughs) It's crazy. And it's but it's a war German. movie, and you're into war movies. I am, I am, I am. It's just hard. I all the movies we've watched that have um, been in different languages have been fine, but it's difficult to watch sometimes because you have to focus on it a hundred percent to read the subtitles. You can't look you, away. You can't. You know, you don't know what's going on. So I mean, it's it's a little draining, but the the movie itself is very, very, very good. Yeah. Especially for it not being a Hollywood movie, for it being a, a, a German movie. Um, the scenes when they're they're in the sub, it, it's it's just so fluid in it. And it, it's really good at showing how cramped and how crappy life was on a U-boat. Because yeah. they're, they're, they're not built for comfort at all. That shit's terrifying. And they do a good job of showing the terror. Yeah. Like... Yeah, well... Yeah, when they're getting, um, when destroyers are dropping depth charges on them, like, that shit's nerve-wracking. Yeah. You're, there's nothing you can do when they're coming down on you, you know? And the further they keep plummeting down. Yeah, the the, the pressure starts, like, bursting the bulkhead. Yeah. It, it's just, you can't win. And I think in the beginning of the movie, they said that, like, there was... I don't know, like 35,000 sailors on U-boats and like 25,000 of them died. I don't know what, I don't remember what the exact numbers were, but like. Well, the the movie itself is yeah. interesting as well because it's, it's a movie from the Nazi perspective. Yeah. And it, that's what makes it a controversial movie. It's well, especially because, being a German movie. Well, about, it's because, yeah, because it's, it's not, it. It's told from the Nazi point of view, so it's almost like it almost seems like it's a Nazi sympathetic move. Yeah, but it also does a good sh- a good job at showing that not all the German military people were Nazis. They just were following well, orders. Yeah, and I and I think the story needs to be told from that point of view as well. The uh, just for his- the historical factor in the beginning scene when they're in the party, there's the captain of the u-boat and and there's another captain at the party and they're they're members of like the old guard they're not nazis they're just german submariners and they the one guy wins the award the other captain and he's openly criticizing hitler in front of all these guys and everyone kind of started looking around and you know they weren't vibing with it because you don't do that that's how you get killed but yeah, they were just fighting because they were German, not because of the reasons behind Nazism, you know? Yeah. So I mean, they do a good job at kind of showing both sides. You it's know? just so long. Yeah. Yeah. It's so long. But um, they were in that U-boat for months at a time, yeah. you know, so it kind of does a good job movie-wise showing, like, just being in a metal can for months, you know, just not showering, not, you know, they had one bathroom. How many guys? Uh, I, don't, yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. It was a lot. Not, not, it was too many for one bathroom. Too many, yeah. Well, yeah, and they shared bunks. It just wasn't fun. And then it, it ends how you think it would end. Yeah. Um, one of those movies with, like, the false sense of like accomp not accomplishment but safety yeah but from a yeah. historical standpoint it ends how you think it would end yeah yeah let's put it that yeah. way i don't want to spoil yeah. the ending but yeah i mean just know that most u-boat submariners didn't live i mean that's the only thing to know yeah. you know but overall it's a good movie it's, it's just, just long, long. Yeah. it's long like war movie even movie wise it's a very good movie it's shot very well it's just it's a hefty movie. Yeah. You know? So what What do you think you're going to give this one? Um, I like the way it was filmed. 
Yeah. Um, everything. I'm gonna give it a solid. I'm gonna give it a. It's just so long. I'm gonna give it a six point nine. Okay. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a seven. Respect. Okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna go seven. Six. Okay. Because it's a very good movie, good, very good war movie. It's just long, and it's it's just. I mean, it has the action, but it also has, is really good at showing the boredom of being on a submarine and it's like, I don't really seven on mine for reference. That was good. Like I'm not just I'm not gonna hand out nine point fives and ten. It's like <laughs> there might be like one ten on this. One nine point nine on this countdown. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if there is a ten because that's just a perfect movie. Okay. And I don't think that exists we'll because no see. one's made a movie with me in it. So <laughs> I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Shaman, what would you give the uh, thing? It was pretty good. Like Alex points out, is a good uh, direct directing and how they lived on a submarine, but it was long and it was in German. So it was. You speak German. You look like you speak German. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I I'd probably get like a seven two. Seven two. Oh, all right. That's what's up. Okay. Okay. Shout out to our German listeners. I, I believe we have a couple German listeners. Should we do. I know we have out. someone from Bavaria. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Shout out. All right, but without further ado, what did you watch? <clears throat> what did you watch? So I finally. Um, got around to it and watched the first John Wick. Never seen it. 2014. And it is fantastic. You picked a fight since uh Not yet, but I've thought about who I could who I could win in a fight. Gets you thinking. You know? It's just it's so like it, It's a man's movie. It's a goddamn man's movie. <laughs> you are so correct in that. And and it's so much cooler that like I know that Keanu Reeves can do the stuff can do that stuff like he's doing it exactly how it's supposed to be done, and it's just those those scenes when he's like hand to hand combat people like fighting people he'll like grab their their head and just shoot them in the head like it's not oh my gosh I've seen video of him like training the God. he can do some shit at the gun range and stuff and he's like yeah. waving in and out yeah. I, I really think I have like the, a nat, a good natural ability to do most of that, but <sighs> that's up there for you it. then in like movies. You were, you were impressed. De- it lived yeah. up to the hype. Yeah, I really liked it. I started watching number two. I haven't finished it yet as of now. Number two is even fucking better in yeah. my opinion. Have you seen number two? No, yeah. I haven't. Oh, it's it, I, wait until you watch number three. I know <laughs> that's next. That's next. It's it's just so good. It's Movies like, I'm going to be honest, I usually don't watch movies like that, and I haven't seen most movies like that. Like, I've never seen Jason Bourne movies. That's what, dude, that's what I was just, I was going to ask, because I know Shaman has. Mm-hmm. Who would win? Jason Bourne. John Wick. Is Jason Bourne like a CIA operative? He's like a... In a straight uh, gunfight? John Wick. Hand-to-hand combat. John Wick looks a little slow in some of his moves. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. And the, the, Jason Bourne is like a programmed. Like, yeah, and that's the only thing I would give over Jason Bourne because he can assess. He just like blacks out. Yeah, <laughs> like, really? yeah like yeah. he like if you got to watch like the Bourne movies. I know. Man. Secret, secret. If you I, like if you like John Wick, you'll well, love I, the what I like about John Wick too is because he he like stays in that hotel like the assassins have that like. Like continental. the continental, it's like a uh, safe brotherhood, and then th- they have the hotel as a safe zone. Like, like they're assassins, but they have rules. A code, yeah. Yeah, and a code. Like that's cool. Uh, yeah, I need to. I've never seen a Taken movie, and that's not the, the Bourne movies that? are better yeah. than Taken. You the think only, so? Like, oh yeah. The only good Taken one is the first one. No, because the Bourne movie, like Taken, just a straight up like kidnapping, but chase down. Was, the Bourne movies, there's like levels to it. You know what I mean? Like it's a whole conspiracy. Thing. When I think of Bourne movies, I always think of Shooter too, because that seems like a kind of movie, like a Bourne movie. No, no. no shoot, I mean, I guess shooter, I the way it's just... filmed. Yeah, I think that's what makes the me way think it's of filmed. It. Kind of, I guess, is similar. But the story, I mean, I guess it's. I don't know. You gotta watch it. Man. Okay, I have. I, I, okay. I, would, I would recommend watching okay. it if you like John Wick. Yeah, for that. sure. But start in order. 
Really? Yeah. Shaman, do you have any? What What did you watch? Actually, I do. Um, He's so excited. Did you see that? You see how excited <laughs> that's he got? Nice. That's, that's cute. cute. I, I watched uh, the new Justice League movie. Okay. Um, just the, came out. The Zack Snyder version. What, what's the title? The whole title? Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. It, it's pretty much what the original Justice League from 2017 should have been. Like, when the, yeah. f- the first one came out, I thought it was okay. You know, it was a good movie. Um, it wasn't on the level of Marvel or, you know, any of those movies. And it was just an okay comic book movie, right? I, I grew up loving DC. Right. Yeah. Right? I was hoping it would be, you know, a great movie to make them a franchise, you know, movie. Yeah. This was the movie they should have put out in 2017. It was Why didn't good. they put it out? It's a different director, right? Yeah, because Zack Snyder was po- supposed to make it because he made Batman versus Superman. But uh, WB ended up firing him. They said he left willingly after the death of his daughter. That was a lie. He, he got fired like two months into production. And they brought in, I think, uh, Josh Whedon or whatever his name is. Okay. Right? Zack Snyder's version was so much better. Admit it was four hours long. The original, I believe, was like an hour and a half half hour 45 minutes it was four hours long four hours long but it did not feel four hours it was so good like you're essentially watching the same movie because it's almost exact same movie but it's completely different there's different scenes it's the same story yeah same story and it just told so much like if you've never seen a dc movie or even dc comic book or cartoon this explains everything in my mind crystal clear. What's going on? Why do they need to do this? And it sets up their franchise perfectly. Huh. It, the ending. Oh. Yeah, don't. It, it just came out, right? Yeah, I th- I think it just came out last Wh- couple. Who's of days. in the Justice League? Is it Super- Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, The Flash? Flash. And originally... Green um, Lantern? No, uh, he's not one of the... Uh, depends on wh- where you look. Originally, it's the twins that are yeah. turn themselves into pails Aquaman, of water. Uh, Shaman's our resident yeah. uh, comic book, Marvel... Uh, yeah. Expert. Yeah. What's the, the so, would recommend. Would recommend. Would recommend. Um... People loved uh, the last Avengers game. Um, game? End game. End game. Yeah. Oh. I would have ranked that a 9 4. 9 wow. 3. Wow. I would have ranked the uh, Justice League, Zack Snyder's, a 9 1 9 2. Wow. Jesus. That's how much. You're talking like best movies you've ever seen. Yeah. It was that. I had a fu- fucking hard on watching this. Ooh. Movie. I, like I would have ranked originally when I saw it in 2017, the original. I'd have ranked it six nine. That's how much better. It's like <laughs> getting a Philly cheesesteak from Subway, or getting a f- original Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia at the world famous. Damn. That's such an steak. obscure analogy. You can tell he was thinking about that. <laughs> he was, he's been thinking about that. Like, yeah. I had cheesesteaks last night. <laughs> What's up? That's how much of an upgrade it was. Like it was just so much better. I would highly recommend watching it. Damn. I'm glad I asked. Yeah. Do you think I could pursue like a cut out of that since we share the same last name? Eh, never know. <laughs> no. I think so. I don't think so. Good luck. I think I have You get anything case. from the chips? Huh? You get anything from the chips? That's in the works. <laughs> we'll see. What'd you watch, Corey? Uh, mine's a throwback, but it's uh, near and dear to my heart. And okay. it's a great movie, in my opinion. Pleasantville. Ooh. I love Pleasantville. Yeah. Like, the concept of it's kind of... Cor- like, if, you, if you told someone, like, yeah. if you pitched it to somebody, it'd be like, that's kind that's corny. So, they get sucked in... The guy gets sucked into the 1950s TV show Pleasantville. Yeah. And everything's in black and white, and it's, like, the supposedly perfect world. Yeah. And then slowly he starts corrupting people, I guess. Like, yeah, he's opening their eyes to 
the you know delusion of the yeah. show yeah and then color starts popping up things yeah, start turning they're colorful and now no one wants to be with them right, right. No one likes like them. it's a it's a big like double meaning of, yeah you know like it's a statement they uh but who who's that? Toby Maguire and the uh, I don't know the girl's name. Is it Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst? No, it's uh, no, oh, no, it's, it's Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, I'm thinking of Spider Man. Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> and then uh, dude from Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Shit, what's that? Jeff guy? Daniels. Jeff Daniels. Yeah. And he's good in it too. Yeah, he's the diner guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. The artist. Yeah. <sighs> it's it's. Like it's not a, not a lot happens. It's no. the polar opposite of the movie Shaman just described. <laughs> like no action. There's no action whatsoever. But it's 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 nice. It's pleasant. It's, it is really pleasant. It is. Like they uh um I remember the they show the one scene where the most the fire department would ever have to do is get like a <laughs> get cat, cat out of a tree. But then after the color started going, there was a tree on fire, and they were just looking at it like, what and, do we do? Yeah. Like that's crazy, awesome. and then they go out to the uh, make out point or whatever, yeah. and, then, and then he gets the mom to diddle herself in the bathtub. I mean, <laughs> it covers all the bases, I guess. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the Don Knotts is in that too. He's like the bad guy. Which is he a bad guy? I mean, yeah, the TV guy. He puts them in there because they were shitty people. He's trying to teach him a lesson. Yeah, but who gives you the right to teach teach someone a lesson? Like, well, what if you saw someone do something shitty to someone at a grocery store? Are you going to teach him a lesson? What gives you the right to teach him a lesson? That's all. He, <laughs> that's if all I can he get is. Away with it. Huh? If I can get away with it. Okay. I don't know. He he seemed a little self entitled. But did it really happen? I guess in Pleasantville, like Pleasantville, I don't think. Like, was it really just a dream? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, did it happen? Yeah, yeah, one of those. But I guess he would be the bad guy. Antagonist, at least. But mm-hmm. the town, the pleasantness is kind of the bad guy. The bad guy is that, like, judge guy or whatever he is, the head of the club or whatever, yeah. who's having that, like, But he comes thing. around. Yeah, when everyone, when his wife is, like and then people start like going to college and stuff. It's a whole thing. At the end. It's weird. But what about when she had the one wife had color and she was putting on the makeup yeah. to cover it up? Yeah, yeah, it's cr- crazy stuff. It's a badass movie. I don't care. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a very good classic in my eyes. I mean, it's, even it's, though it's not that, it's old. a bop. It's got to be what nineties. Yeah, Before I would say late. Time. I would say late nineties. Night. I'm gonna say ninety eight. Guess. Ninety seven. Go ninety seven. Ninety eight. Fuck. God. Good. <laughs> I'm go buy a lotto ticket right now. Damn. That's only because Alex was what like. I was five. three. I was three. Damn. And what? Oh, ninety eight. I was four. I did the math Detroit wrong on a like later episode. Or 15, on I was episode. 10. Let's calm down. 10? Yeah. Bro, you were about to go to middle school. No, 10? Yeah. No. When you're no. 11, you go 13. to middle school. I didn't have middle school. I had junior high. Oh, that's how old you are. There it is right there. No. I, ten, when I was 10, I was in like fourth grade. I was in fifth grade in ten, when I was 10. Yeah, I was in third. <laughs> <laughs> this is riveting. <laughs> Uh, but no, uh, Pleasantville, seven point seven. Okay, that's a that's a pretty high score from you. Yeah, I like Just that because I like the I like the deepness of it. Yeah, I like the I like the aesthetic. Yeah, of the entire movie, and if there was some action, then it would get a higher score. A car chase, maybe. Yeah, something. Triple homicide. Uh, not even that. Something. Nothing really happens. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Like always, uh, give us some likes on Instagram and and Facebook and let us know if you have any show ideas. Uh, We love hearing from you guys. Um, All right, stay safe.